Hi, everyone. It's time now for Kara's Curious with the New Year here. A lot of us have our health and fitness goals on our minds, but is something getting in the way of your weight loss goals? Yeah, always, it seems to me, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. New research shows detoxing can make a big difference. Dr. Artemis Morris is a naturopathic physician and founder of the Artemis Wellness Center, and she's designed a medically guided, that's important, right? Yep. Medically guided detox that can jumpstart our weight loss and we're going to be talking to her today about this, and you're going to be starting this. Yeah, week, this is day this one detox. for me. Scott yeah. is doing it as well. Um, and and let's just uh, first of all, thank you so much for coming here. <laughs> My pleasure, yeah. always, and so great to be here it's with both of you. It's wonderful to see you. So and, when people think about toxins, uh, they think, okay, well, fine, uh, you know, I'm sure I'm around it all, but why would it affect my weight loss? There's something that you're, this is your next book, and you help guide people through detoxification um, the right way, but there's something in our food, a lot of our different foods, that ha something called an obesogen. What's that? Yes. Yeah, so a lot of people are very frustrated when they try to lose weight or because they get a condition, like some kind of chronic medical condition that comes out of the blue. And the missing link between both of those is something called toxins in the form of obesogen. So these disrupt our hormonal system, our endocrine system. And these toxins that are found in our food, our personal care products, our environment, we're all exposed to it. They've even found these toxins in breast milk, in babies. Wow. So it's all over. And these do play a role in how we can lose weight. They increase our fat cells. They make it harder for the fat cells to release the toxins. They also can increase our risk of insulin resistance, diabetes, and chronic diseases. Wow. So and what are they exactly? Where can these be found? What are they exactly? Yeah, we had kind of like, I brought some things to be like, which of these might have the um, endocrine disrupting obesogens in it? So I'm going to guess the Pringles. You're absolutely <laughs> right. Do you want to guess which one might also I'm not going to say the red onion. I will say the pop secret. Right. So these are a couple of examples. And we can go through a typical day in the life of, you know, we get in the shower. You know, are there toxins in our mm -hmm. water? Um, our personal care products, a lot of them have parabens yes. or phthalates in it that are endocrine disruptors. And then we go to eat something and those can be contained in uh, packages that are lined with something um, that's called per and polyfluoral alkyl substances these are the PFAS that's found in everything and yeah. they are forever chemicals which, mm -hmm. which means they don't break down in our environment mm -hmm. and the more we're exposed on a daily basis the more they accumulate they synergize and they could wreak havoc on our our metabolism mm -hmm. so we only have a couple of minutes left in this show but I want to let you know we're gonna take a deep dive on Kara's cures but we're starting the detox what does that mean like basically every morning I'm taking a shake um, it's it's a, it's from a really good company Metagenics that works with physicians and it has like special things like green tea pomegranate rice protein it's helping detox me <laughs> and then we get to eat but we just have to eat real food more like vegetables and fish we can't have anything like that right. <laughs> for a period of time right and this is where our food system is gotten overblown with so many foods that are working against our metabolism. Mm -hmm. And so we're just shifting it back to a whole foods Mediterranean style diet. I did design it so that we remove the most common inflammatory foods, which are gluten, dairy, except for yogurt, because we this, these toxins are working through our microbiome, our gut, so our gut health is important. And then we also eliminate things like corn and peanuts as well. Mm -hmm. So even peanut butter. Not for this detox. We have to right? use almond butter. Almond butter. Yeah. Just, just for, for this the, detox. Just for this. Yeah. It's 12 days. Um, <clears throat> we'll take a little score, which I'll, I'll try to post that later. You can find out just how toxic you are with some of the symptoms, if you're getting headaches, not sleeping well, um, all that. And then at the end of the 12 days, hopefully we are lighter and have more energy. That's my intention. Um, but Dr. Artemis Morris does this. She's writing a book about it. You can visit the ArtemisWellnessCenter.com. Also listen to the Kara's Cures podcast and the show coming up, streaming on WFCB Plus, because we're going to go into exactly. Right. how we do this and yeah. why it sounds so fantastic it's it's in when we were talking before it's important that it's medically advised right right so because if you don't get the right components you might not be able to detox properly thank you mm -hmm. all right thank, thank you. you everybody thanks for being here thanks Irene yeah, thanks for having me it's been fun I want to see it four starts right now <laughs>